Get ready for everyone to start yelling. Get ready for someone to get on stage again. Let's we'll see how good uh, this security is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Jeff Keeley. We have trained snipers <laughs> in this building. <laughs> GTA 6. GTA 6. It's oh, funny. that kid's from Chicago. Chicago. Oh, it's funny. He actually tweeted yesterday. He's like, see you tomorrow. So <laughs> he's trying. More than anything, this is a show about bringing our community together in this room and online around the world to focus on something we can all agree on. There's nothing more powerful or more immersive than an extraordinary video game. Oh, people in the industry, it's like, yeah, you know, you should probably bring up some other stuff too about this year in games. Perspectives on the world, and we've got such an amazing group of people with us. They're built by talented creators and teams, and many of them are here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to see you back after winning mm -hmm. Game of the Year in 2017. Ooh, about us. Yeah, we are those guys. <laughs> Why he looks so confused? Technical forces. Mark Cerny, PlayStation's lead system architect. Dana Carvey. Years of Cerny games. I loved him in Master of Disguise. Mark, please join me in welcome <laughs> to yes, We're going to do it. The actor behind Kratos in God of War, oh. Christopher Judge. Christopher he did, Judge. He did Christopher Judge dirty last year, though. He's like, you went over. Yeah. We had to give way, like 800 more Steam Deck because of that. Uh. <laughs> oh, what a card. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year. Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's what dirty. <laughs> that's so dirty. What are you doing? Jeff Keeley's a dick. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh. uh, Boy, the audience was loving that joke. Making long speeches. I'm going to stick to the script. <sighs> Why did he do that? that? Right. Yeah, what he went that? over. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we're, we're, we're already starting off strong. We're already starting uh, off strong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can't no, wait for Leafy to put this in his uh, cringe uh, compilation. Is he still leaving on YouTube? I'm here to present. Drop him now. For best well, don't worry, he's going to win in my cringe compilation. Best performance. Best performance. Ben Star, Final Fantasy 16. Hey, let's go. This is my vote. Megan Fox game. in Transformers <laughs> oh, <laughs> 360. Oh, no. <laughs> you must be lost. This isn't where I'm supposed to go. Best performance by a human female. Megan Fox says Michaela Bain. <laughs> oh, still need to play that. I'm saying. He was really good in that game. He was. He was. Whoever wins. <laughs> Jeff has given me the okay to say, take as long as you want to. Thank everyone who's ever missed anything in your life. <laughs> and I dare you. I double dare you to try to break my whack record. Seven minutes, 59 seconds. My, wha my whack record? Oh, my God. And the my whack goes record. to... Neil Newbar. I... The Baldur's yeah, Gate Baldur's sweep game, huh? begins. That's one. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say, I know I don't have much time. Um... <laughs> you tell you to take a long time. Let, let it go. Uh, it like was one joke right last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy is wearing armor. Me at medieval times be like. Do you want to play this game? Just, I, I don't know. I don't have the time. There's too many long games dropping. Yeah. I hear good things about Baldur's Gate. I need to try it out. Yeah. One thing I will say. You can take as long as you want, dude. Yeah. We're not going anywhere. Beat the record. And said they were seen 
I think were represented by this game when they lost hope, they felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all. And to you, I want to say thank you. Look, so I was like, this is speech where you're saying like some important stuff. He's like, no, let's let's wrap this up. But we can let that awful <laughs> joke bit go for like eight minutes of him being like, yeah, you know, we're gonna wrap his speech up. Congratulations, Neil. Great speech. And short, so thank you. Uh, there are Shut off. more wars to come, but now it's time to look ahead oh. to what we'll be playing next. Let's get to those world premieres. Please welcome Academy Award-winning actor and New York Times best-selling author Matthew McConaughey. Huh? All Matthew right, McConaughey. All right, all okay. Right. It, it all begins. Right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if she can put McConaughey. Big big thing. What's he doing here? I've been playing Need for Speed, driving my lead game. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1. I play a lot of riding. <laughs> what? Okay. Comedy. Okay. PS Studio, PlayStation Studios, what you got? Wait a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> yep. Oh. oh my lord. DLC? I, I think so. Oh no, do not show him in a boat. You're gonna rile people He's up again. <laughs> Those who know, know. <laughs> no shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's go again. Oh, is it like a uh like like a little like survive like how many rounds kinda like rogue mode? <laughs> Shoot, I'm down for more God Award at this point. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. God Award Red and Rocky DLC. Valhalla. Valhalla. Hey. December. Oh! Oh! oh. Shoot! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we're play next week. Okay, I, I, and it's free! free DLC. Oh. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm there! I'm there! <laughs> and the cover looks sick! Alright, I'm there! There's a very nice holiday surprise from PlayStation. The team at Santa Monica Studio are fans of their fans and are offering this DLC. Fans of their fans? <laughs> that, that might not be the right thing to say in the room with the industry. <laughs> you know their developers are like, wait, they're not charging $30 for that? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> you kind of just implied, yeah, they care about their fans, not like you guys charging for this. Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2. Man, I'm when is that game dropping? To one of my favorite bands, Heilung. This game still hasn't been released? No, it still is not yet. Damn, Shoot, I forgot when it got revealed. It got revealed a long ass. It was like when Microsoft bought, uh, the studio, that's when the game got revealed. That was eons ago. That was like, that yeah, was, was pre-pandemic. <laughs> I, I think that was our first time like watching like some type of like game announcement event or something. It, the, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was 2019. Yeah. Yeah, back in 2019. It was like almost five years ago. <laughs> and it, it says, and it says release date possibly 2024 the reason for this delay in production could be the new partnership between microsoft and ninja theory i'm noticing a trend microsoft buys a studio and then games just don't come out yeah yeah we're gonna see that maton kid he, he snuck on he's he's one of the, one of the performers <laughs> He's gonna tell everybody, name three books. <laughs> I want you to name three books. Can you do that? <laughs> that is not a book. 
that is does not call Game of Thrones. <laughs> Mario Wonder <laughs> should not have won Best Family Game. How come no Pikmin for? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think All we're kind right, of getting okay. off topic. Can you name ten books? All right, trailer. All right, when is this game releasing? It, it has to be next year. Why should it be twenty twenty five? We're gonna wait another two years. <laughs> I'll say it, it looks like, like the years they spent on it, it show was in the footage. It does look really good. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious how it's going to look on Xbox One from 2013. Okay, 2024. Oh, okay. okay, next year. Uh, okay. The creative director of Nether Realm Studios. Ed Boon about to get booed. <laughs> yes, I am the one responsible for those ten dollar costumes. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, you can thank me later. Unless <laughs> you got home <laughs> Don't ask me for shit again. Yeah. <laughs> the the like one becoming the main character. <laughs> Best narrative, Mortal Kombat 1. No. <laughs> I can't imagine if it was nominated. I was all like, hey, the, the, the story is good, but not good enough to be best narrative category. Maybe one of my games will be up there one year. Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2? Honestly, with everything I've heard about that game, it. Feels pretty deserved. Like I, I need to get that game soon. Oh shoot! You see the security? It's roped off, and they have security in front. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not playing yeah. around this year. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure nobody comes in front. <laughs> hey, it's Max Payne. Oh no! Oh no! Mm. I really hope this is not from the event. I'm not talking about it, the trailer though, I just talking about oh the Oh my god, please wrap it up. It probably is from the event, unfortunately. <laughs> it's like we need to wrap these speeches up. We need to get to these long game trailers. <laughs> so remember, back in the day it used to be like, okay, it's the awards, and it'd be a few trailers. Now, now it's more trailers than awards. I think where someone did the math and they like counted, and it's like the awards take up maybe twelve minutes of the entire show. The fact that this is an online only thing and it has commercials still is kind of upsetting. I imagine, I can just imagine one person's angry saying, why is my ad block not working? You know, you, just, you only have ads on like the Oscars and all that because it's TV, they have commercials, they're trying to make money. Also, if a Snickers ad showed up, I'd be pretty happy. It's something different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting kind of hungry, I won't lie. She, oh God, a Snickers sounds so good, but I don't want, I can't leave. Maybe after, I might <laughs> go, go drive to an a and and get a Snickers. Get a Snickers, get some game fuel. Get some Mountain Dew, Doritos. Uh, I should have pre game before watching this. It's a pleasure to welcome from the Muppets, that's right, the great Gonzo. Oh, we're doing the Muppets again? Yeah. Thank you. Every year, you got to bring hey, some Muppets back. It's great to be here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, buddy. Thanks for uh, coming. I Looks like you're kind of wearing what I'm wearing. Yeah. It's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? Comedy. Well, I really, well, don't, I really think... don't think... <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Seriously, though, what have you been playing, Gonzo? Well, lots and lots of Tears of the Kingdom. What an incredible game. You know that oh one mission where you follow the cuckoo up a hill? I lost track of how many days I spent doing that. The objective is really, you know, just follow the chicken. You don't have to ask me Th twice. They're not All called right. chicken. Welcome That's back. Right. Welcome back. You You're missing this so comedy skit. Gonzo has canonically ended. played Tears oh, of the I Kingdom. I past that Kuko mission. I keep restarting to see if I can get a slower time. Huh? <laughs> I'd like to show you how many of this year's greatest games all revolve around one central theme. Check this out. Got the case for it? Yeah, that's quite a conspiracy you've uncovered. I know, I know. You probably think I'm obsessed Wait, with Wait, is that the chicken costume from Crash? That's not even this year. 
one very specific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's that? Hey. Pizza Tower! Yo! Pizza Tower. It was so good. Hey! I love this game. Oh, I need to play that. This game was so good. And now to the task at hand. The game award goes to. Cocoon! Oh, rip. Oh, well. <laughs> you know what? Pizza Tower got in, it, it got nominated. Played and voted for Cocoon. And to Yepi, Mads, and Jakob, and everyone at the team at Geometric, thank you so much for being such a wonderful partner on this game. Thank you. What? The geometric team also wanted to thank um, what? and be, they were honored no, to he, be. He did this, he was talking and she's about to go walk up and they started playing the music like, that's it. Can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. That's dirty. <laughs> that is real dirty. That's really mean. He, he, he talked and it's like, all right, she has nothing to say. And then cut her off. <laughs> On the teleprompter, it's saying, wrap it up. Yeah, we, we love the <laughs> industry so much. We just disrespected a woman live on air. And now it's time for our next world premiere. Yo, yo. Fuck. Sonic? So Sonic Mario Party game. <laughs> Sonic Party. Oh. Oh no! Crazy Taxi, what? Just at radio? Did you save the game? Night? Really? Of course I did. The fudge? Nobody? What is that? Ooh! Hey, it's back! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Oh my- Yo! Yo. <laughs> oh! Wait! <laughs> what? Okay, more than one! <laughs> Wait, they- what? It's a remake of all the classic Sega games. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> oh my yeah. god! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Yeah! Let's go, baby! Get- <laughs> Damn, that's nuts. Oh, dude. Wait, shoot. If, that, that, knights could oh, be on there, then. I'm there. I have to freeze on that frame. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was joking. Alex Kidd could be on there. He could get an Alex Kidd remake. Yeah. <laughs> man, th there's one person who really should have been here for that. Man, I would have loved to see their reaction to that one. <laughs> Final years. Fighters 2? I forgot they were doing Budokai. Budokai. Oh, yeah. let's go. I, for I forgot all about that. <laughs> Man, d d back yeah, to back. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh. Are we gonna get? Are we gonna get Budokai too? Okay, no. <laughs> Should we better get like 800 characters in this? Just go even further. <laughs> Take yes. Kaiju three. No, we need we need a thousand. Then we need like 50 versions of Goku in this one. <laughs> Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> she looks looks great, dude. Sparking zero. Sparking zero. On there. Day one. Sparking zero. Does it have rollback? I hope so. It better have. See, I never played those games for multiplayer. <laughs> I was just like, the single player was good enough for me. <laughs> the story, at least, yeah. Yeah. God, I can't get over that Sega one. <laughs> that Sega I can't one stop thinking cool, about either. that. Yeah. I'm sweating. That <laughs> so damn <that's> so cool. <laughs> but what new player are they gonna bring into this one? What crossover is it this time? Is it Michael Myers? Oh, I think he's already in the game, actually. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, it said it said from I the world of Dead by Daylight. So either it's something new or it's something within that universe. The casting of Frank Stone. Yeah. Huh. It's a cinematic horror experience from the world of Dead by Daylight. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. 
was my first thought when I saw that was Judge Dredd. <laughs> 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 Oh, Koi Tecma. Dynasty Warriors 15. A fleeting moment can feel like. No, <laughs> it does kind of look like it. Ray traced yeah. boo boo. <laughs> For anyone who breathes, <laughs> oh? The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. I see Samurai, so it's already a day one purchase. <laughs> this looks fun. <laughs> As the smoke rises, so shall we. Rise of the Ronin. Rise of the Ronin. Maybe they have enough. Oh no, not the Oni mask. So which of you will do the deed? <laughs> so, oh, oh shoot. God, everything is dropping so early next year. Yeah. Now it is time to announce winners in a number of other categories. Oh, I hate when he does the this. For best action game. Uh, Core best fighting. <laughs> I'm going Armored Core 6 because it, 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 it's been through so much. Oh, the Hi-Fi Rush looks really sick. And the game award goes to... Des deserved. Came back, became a huge seller. Here are the nominees for best art direction. Alan Wake 2, Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush, that, that game's dripping with style. Super Mario Brothers Wonder yeah. and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the game award goes to... Alan Wake 2. Oh, that was shocking. All right, let's go, baby. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, yo. Hello Kitty. And the game award goes to Hong Kai Star. If it actually was Hello Kitty, oh my god. I wish she would. I don't think, I don't think Hello Kitty has microtransactions. first ever performance. What? Whoa, did you see that huge blurb of text there? Oh, it was yeah. like Steam Deck OLED, and it had like a bunch of like, uh, the battery life in these things, like, warnings. Like, what was that? What the fuck? Oh, quit screaming. Oh, it, it, our game's so scary. A lot of our, a lot of streamers stream our game. Oh, is this the Outlast Trials? I think it is. What the hell? Oh my god. I forgot this okay. game came out. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> See, it's funny. It's like, to me, it's like, this isn't what I think when I think Outlast. Yeah. It does kind of give me that. It does give me that Outlast vibe. I, I think it is the, the Outlast Trials game. Because that game does have multiplayer. It's like, yeah. Yep. Yep. March, 20, March 5th. Wait, how the hell are they... Oh, uh, there's an early access. There's like a, a beta for it, open beta, I believe. Oh, gotcha. My thing gotcha. is like Outlast is that. like I feel like multiplayer. It's gonna take the scares away. It's like if I know someone's there, it's not as scary. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you open the door, you get that like just that orchestrated like oh, thing, and then you get told oh, a little that? egg thrown oh, off. What was that advertising? I don't know. <laughs> Did you see that? Nicotine is bad. I, I thought that was promoting a game or something. But I was like, nope, nicotine is bad. Don't smoke. Don't smoke or vape. Update with you on his upcoming project. Here we go. Hey. Oh my god, please blink! Wait, is this that mobile game, that Xbox game he's been doing, working on? Yeah, I might have. They're kind of giving me that. 
and the mad whale and started bending and cracking. I'm, re I'm reading tweets. Hi-Fi Rush did win Best Art Direction. Yeah. This is not a serious game awards. Dinosaur. Apparently Hideo Kojima was working on some game with Xbox as well. Uh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. For all for all players and screaming. See now I'm scared because, see now the Outlast Trials wasn't scary, but Hideo Kojima stuff might be scary. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you can't be doing that. <laughs> he always gives Hideo Kojima the most extra openings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's doing there with that like PT door. <laughs> Honestly, that looks like something out of Metal Gear. Actually, <laughs> this whole stage looks, looks like, like one of those doors you, that you need. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like some secluded part of Shadow Moses. <laughs> Sounds like a horror game. Yeah, from the yeah, like it, there's psychological some stuff that thrill. leaked early earlier this year. It's looking like it's a horror mm -hmm. game. I'm there first there day one though. Day zero for me actually. It's <laughs> <laughs> like I've been wanting Odio Kojima to go back on like the horror game since PT and everything like that. I know he could. I, I'm playing that PT and I'm like, dude. Like, this is going to be a great game, only to find out that it got canceled on my world. Yeah. I was, like, really hoping, like, you know, now that he has his own production team and everything, I hope, like, he goes back to, like, at least making another, like, horror game. So, this one definitely I'm looking forward to. Fox Game Studios and using their uh, cloud gaming technology. Um, it is true, then. Um, kind of if this is only on Xbox, it gives me an excuse to actually get an really Xbox. To make immersive. <laughs> Wait to learn more about what you're working on. Oh, wait, oh. wait. Is, I knew he wasn't going to just leave it here. At the door? Jordan Peele? Jordan Peele. I knew it! Jordan Peele. <laughs> Everyone, please welcome. I, all Jordan those meetings Peele. that he kept being with him, I knew he was working on this. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm scared. <laughs> it's about to be the scariest game on earth. Hideo is the master of this. And he does it on a whole nubba level. Oh no, he brought that back. <laughs> he brought back a ref a mad from a mad TV skit from over like 18 years ago. <laughs> 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 How are you collaborating with Jordan? Tell us about it. So I take his ideas, I steal them and say, they are my ideas. It's a great collaboration. <laughs> he told me all his ideas for Nope 2. I'm taking them and putting them in Death Stranding 2. I have other uh, creative collaborative partners uh, with me on board on this project. I can't really uh, say who they are right now, but they, I tell you, they are the legends and they're going to be amazing. And uh, I actually call them the Avengers. <laughs> well, the door is closed for now, so no more special guests, but it's going to be amazing. All right. I, I Christopher Nolan, Steven Spielberg. This man is <laughs> here. Quentin Tarantino. We cannot wait to learn more. Well, he, he posts on his Twitter, he posts a lot of like so meetings much, where he'll be like, like, oh, I'm with this like famous director or actor. So it's like, it could be anybody at this point. But this one, he was just he, Al Pacino okay. was just at Kadeo Kojima Studios. I own an island. Oh no! Oh yeah, that is true. Yeah. Wait, another Jurassic Park game? Oh. Wait, you mentioned Spielberg. <laughs> this better this, this better not be Evolution. This better be like a brand new Jurassic Park game. I want to play. I want to play as Wayne Knight. <laughs> These goddamn dinosaurs! Clever girl. Turn the light oh, off! Wait. 
Is, is this what I think it is? This is this a Dead by Daylight collaboration? Is it? <laughs> That'd be stupid. Dead by Daylight, the dinosaurs. That would be hilarious. I mean, they got the Xenomorph in there. Uh. All right, get ready for the meme. photo. <laughs> I don't know what that gif is. <laughs> okay. Survival. Alright. Survival. Okay. 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 Hopefully, it, hopefully right. it's good. I'd, I'd like a new good Jurassic Park game. And it looks like a single player yeah. one, too. I'm honored to be here tonight to present the award for best audio design. Sound is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound of shooting a web. As the the, the brilliant sounds of a vase breaking. Of what's possible. Here are the nominees. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, <laughs> check out the Game Awards Island in Fortnite. It's been updated with new trophies tonight to collect. Oh, Fortnite is expanding into a full-on platform. What There's is that give? Right, I'm there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, the that's that's me Fortnite running to the new Fortnite tomorrow, code. Though, the team at Psyonix. <laughs> I'm coming into the Fortnite. <laughs> I'm getting those trophies. Me running to the, the store to get a Snickers bar is about to be like. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, oh, come here, chocolate. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> All right. What? Fortnite? What? Fortnite got a cart racer. Rocket <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Wait, Rocket League's coming to Fortnite? <laughs> what is this? What is this tomfoolery? <laughs> Oh, Rocket it's just his Race. own, like, mode. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was, like, Rocket League. I'm like, what? You can't wait for Optimus Prime to drive a car. <laughs> well, that's not, well, that's not possible. <laughs> Still Although, it's something I would like to see. <laughs> Oh, the designs on this designs in this game are crazy. Look, oh yeah, this game they showed this game yeah, off yeah, a long while ago. I was wondering where it went. It looked really good. It does. Damn, this game looks crazy. Yeah, yeah, it still looks just as good as my saw it. Yeah, <laughs> shit is so dope. <laughs> Destined one, oh my god. When when is this game dropping? <laughs> 2025. 2026. Listen, they announced this game like three years ago, so I'm fine. I can wait a bit more. 2024? Oh, I'm there. 2024, okay. I'm I'm there. Just it looks good. It actually, yeah, it looks good. The next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too, Debs at home. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys, let's take a look. <laughs> Akadeo Kojima Kermit photo is perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> Even the legs are right too. I knew it reminded me of something when he was just standing there. <laughs> I, Jeff just wants to make memes. People talk about the game award thing at this point. It lives by the memes. I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. 
Hey, I remember him. Hey, oh, he sounds familiar. That is not why I'm here. Oh, okay. Sorry, now this is this. Maybe is I am here for that. I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is like. <laughs> oh God, he'd watch the Fight TV ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why did they just randomly cut to Reggie? Yeah, I, games I, I, I mean, I played them. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at you, Reggie. <laughs> I watched the Game Awards exclusively <laughs> for Reggie. <laughs> my name is Zhao, a shaman of Kinzera. Here, I seek my father's return. Oh, this looks cool. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. Oof. Dead, man. Oh, oh you son of a... Oh, oh. oh bitch. Hey, you fucking promo. It couldn't have paused on, like, a Reggie's face or something. Alright, sick. Keep my eye out for that game. Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. This one, though, is a little bit of a twist. They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. He said it's no, written by one of the premiere. greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Nobuo Uematsu. Oh! Here he is, the Game Ooh. Awards Orchestra. All right, I'm turning this up. Lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Enjoy. Wait, I thought this was a game we not didn't heard of. Damn, they really are doing it for <laughs> seven. <laughs> If they actually do it, I'll be shocked. Hey! Drink, drink your goddamn tea! Bringing all the gang in this game. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, ooh, they're oh, evil for that. Oh, That's oh, so oh, evil. Oh, <laughs> oh, That's so wrong. <laughs> oh, no. I see you're at the oh, ledge, Aerith. Oh, 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 that hurt to see that. No. <laughs> oh, why? You can't be doing that. <laughs> Oh my god. You uh, cry now. It's like you can't put this emotional Fuck. song and then interplay that footage right there. <laughs> See, I'm scared because, like, damn, where's this song going to play in the, in the game? Like, they're going to play it here, but they're going to play it somewhere else and it's going to break. <laughs> oh my Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> That was that was great. Like that was it was. But I, like I'm I'm all, I'm all good that you guys showed off Sid, but you can't be showing that scene like towards that. <laughs> they they knew what they were doing. <laughs> oh my god, man! It's funny because people who never played the original seven. Watching that, they're probably like, wow, that's a great. Why is everyone near me tearing up? <laughs> I'm happy they, they, they confirmed that Sid was going to be in the game, but oh, we have tonight for Final Fantasy fans. <clears throat> Final <laughs> Fantasy IX remake. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII remake. Final Fantasy XII! <laughs> Thirteen. What? 
Huh? What is this? Huh? This looks like a Fortnite. This looks like a mobile game. Fortnite. Stuff? Overwatch three. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Apex. Oh. Apex. <laughs> oh, okay. So is that the big announcement that you have heard of? Fun when limits are made to be broken when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, of course, he has to say it. That was a fun one. The category of best score and music. Oh, yet again. Oh, wow. Oh. I hate when he does this to composers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see that was coming. That was a good. It was either that or Zelda. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Let's <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. go again. Save the diver. Oh, win watch. And the game award goes to Sea of Stars. Okay. Great. That was a great okay. game. That was really good. Okay, <laughs> Twitter's not gonna blow up. <laughs> okay. Final Fantasy. Actually, it might be Cyberpunk this year. Oh, okay. Okay. Isn't that two for Oof. Oof. Wow. Oh, come on. Nickelodeon. 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 It's it's gonna be like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Let's fucking go, baby. Most anticipated. Where's Prime Four at? And the game award this year goes to Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I knew it. I love how it's like Tekken Eight. That game drops in like a month. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of shocked it was Street Fighter Six. I thought it was gonna be Mortal Kombat One, honestly. No, hey, no, dude. Street Fighter, like, I, Street, Mortal Kombat 1 is good, but Street Fighter 6, honestly, uh, it, it just shows that Street Fighter, no matter what era we are in, like, gaming, they always change the way we see fighting games. Oh, yeah. Like, Street Fighter 6 changed a lot of things that, um, and everything. Mortal Kombat 1, like, I don't know, there's just not enough game modes. Ooh. Or in Street Fighter Six, there was like a lot of replayability in that game. Yo, I'm kind of sad we were we were we were talking over the Christopher Judge speech. He said something so raw. <laughs> I respect him so much more for it. <laughs> Apparently, he said my speech last year was longer than the campaign for this year's Call of Duty. <laughs> so why why you gotta do me like that, Snow? Oh. <laughs> Stop posting that scene. <laughs> it's been like twenty. It's like it's been like twenty-five years. I'm still not over it. <laughs> I'm not over it neither. It's still real to me. Damn it. You know how many times? Fuck you, down you're, there. You're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know. You know how many times I tried that rumor thing to save her and everything, only to be disappointed? <laughs> I kind of relive that in reverse. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna oh, ball my okay. eyes out. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Yeah, say that like I remember what that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. Like, oh, Arcane. Arcane. Okay, Arcane. They're, they're, they're a good studio. From the team that brought you the smash hit in 1998 that released on September 5th. At 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> At 7 a.m. <laughs> At this certain location. In someone's, ba in someone's backyard. From, from the guy <laughs> who delivered your Taco Bell three weeks ago. With, with their non-dominant <laughs> hand. <laughs> the guy who invented the two-day shipping at Amazon Prime. From the guy who left your lobby. The guy who made the, the, the pet rock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all I needed. Thank you.
Oh, is this? Wait a minute. Is this is actually this it? Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yo, you... yeah. <laughs> this is Yo. gonna be sick. <laughs> Yeah. They got the oh, perfect. Wait, is that? They got the perfect team oh, for a blade God. game. Yeah. They got the perfect. Oh, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Because the gameplay in Deathloop was crazy, and the gameplay in Wolfenstein was crazy too. Now we are huge fans of Arcane Leon. He's, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third person. Action adventure yeah. set in the heart of Paris. Yeah. So please sit back, let us cook, and voila! Merci <laughs> beaucoup. Merci. I love this. Oh. <laughs> this guy's always—he's—he's he's always at the Bethesda uh, presentations back in the day. He was always the best awesome. thing about the, pr the presentations. <laughs> now please welcome the star of Twisted Metal, a nominee tonight for best adaptation, uh -oh. Anthony Mackie. <laughs> How come they didn't get me for that Blade game? I can play Blade <laughs> too. <laughs> hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And <laughs> hey, hey, one guy hey, clapping hey, the back. I have one thing to do before I get on to the award I'm supposed Did to represent. Did they cancel it? Okay. There's no season two? Okay. Really? I don't know, just the okay. way he said it, made it seem that way. Of different things. You can't because of our incredible fans. Okay. Yep. Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. Woo! So, let's go. Everybody get let's your go. Revin, you Cut to Reggie. I want to see his reaction to this. You look great. You guys. <laughs> you guys look Where are you, Reggie? Where are you going, baby? <laughs> I don't know. So, like how the NFL games have the Taylor Swift cam, have the Reggie cam. <laughs> He just cuts to his yeah. reaction oh and anything. <laughs> okay, stop it, you. Okay, love you too. I see you. I see you. Wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> Wrap it up. Today, <laughs> <laughs> the best games of the universe constantly expanding. I'm with I'm new 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 don't make me get Eminem to roast you. Oh! Game recognizes. There's guys in Avenger. There's real games to deliver fresh And I mean, I I have to include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey. Gave us feedback, made funny memes, videos. You know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit. It was amazing. You know, to see the reception of the players when they were actually getting all of those uploads. Just recently we shipped update Wrap it up. one for Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate this. For all of you. Thank you so much. The, listen, the de developers have Thank had you. such a bad year. Let them do their entire speeches. We didn't need all five minutes of Anthony Mackie goofing off. Yeah. yeah. Jeff, your show is all guys, twisted. We brought in gamers to demo the latest Cyberpunk update. But we haven't told them what they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. That's super real. <laughs> what do you think? I don't even want to recognize this site. Like a 40, 40 series? <laughs> You're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. Streaming on GeForce Now. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god. I would it's not a re- it's not oh. a- Oh. <laughs> they, they don't know they're playing- Okay, I thought it was like, we, they don't know they're playing Cyberpunk. Like no, they don't. They don't know they're playing on a Chrome, but never mind. I'm, that was my mistake. <laughs> These people don't realize what game they're playing. It shows footage of Tears of the Kingdom. What game is this? Zelda. When did they do this? <laughs> I've never played a video game before. A special surprise for you, live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Wallendor, and I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring that best-selling writer, Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. From what I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up pure. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's what? true. Damn it, I shouldn't watch this. <laughs> this is Alan Wake 2. I think that I think this legit happens in the game. Oh, 
I hate it. I might have to just like <laughs> scrap some of my Get Alan Wake 2. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sam Lake out there dancing. <laughs> <laughs> God, I gotta get this game. <laughs> I just need to know the context of this. Like, what leads to this number being in the game? Now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out, final chapter. They're really telling us to get the fuck out. It's the final chapter. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Get the fuck out, we're never releasing this game. Stop asking! Get the fuck out! <laughs> Remember. Get the fuck Joining out. Get the fuck on the game Chambers, with its free weekend. That's what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> you got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic, but thank me for thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious menu. <laughs> this suit what? is fucking amazing. Yeah. Huh? You look like good too. Yeah, Your yeah, game yeah. looks great. So. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so someone who was there confirmed that. The presenters, uh, the winners only get 30 seconds for their acceptance speech. Oh, God. That's, that's whack. That's incredibly whack. We, we, no, don't give the developers time to speak. We need to get to these trailers. For real. You can't be doing this like Crash 3 Warped. <laughs> Why this crash, crash. Right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. So it looks really good, though. Yeah. I, I hope the tone is right. Yeah. I, I don't want to follow 76 where they make jokes out of the whole series. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, earlier they earlier they showed something that got me upset a bit. And they showed the game. It was showing footage, I guess, of Fallout 76, and it was about launching a nuke. And like the title of the quest was "I Have Become Death." It's like, oh, how dare you! Thank you for having us. That was ooh, <laughs> you're stretching it there. But our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for best adaptation. Since our bosses are here. What? Oh, there they are. Oh, Todd Howard. Yeah, Todd Howard's best. <laughs> that guy say wrap it up, dude. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Ugh. That's, that's going to be like the description right. for this video, wrap it up. Okay, so this All right, who's, who's, who's inside the battle armor? I, I, I feel like there's a twist to this. Who's in the battle armor? <laughs> Todd Howard. <laughs> His clone is finally oh. sentient. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, this is this is a tough one. Right, it's Last of Us. It's Last of Us. It's, gonna, it's probably. Oh, it's gonna be a Super Mario movie. Shoot, that last oh, one yeah, show was really game. good though. It is a really good show. That was also it's gonna good be a too. Super Mario movie. Yeah. Wahoo! I need to watch that. That little show looks so good. I haven't seen it. That's a really good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, to the metal stand. Goes to the last of us. Ah! Uh, uh, I, I was hoping oh. I would jinx that. Oh, it actually got it over the Mario movie. Okay, I'm actually I'm I'm not mad. That's good. That that's good. This, this show is great. They just yeah. It. You said season two is gonna be 2025, so I'm ready for that. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be like those GTA 6 guys. Uh, I'm gonna quit my job. I'm gonna stay home. 
about trying to die before they get the, the season two. <laughs> well, Genshin didn't win, but Last of Us did, so it is what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually happy about that because, like, honestly, I thought I thought the first stuff the Super Mario movie was going to win. Yeah, like, I don't really care, though, but I know I know people are going to complain about it all the time. Oh, people are already complaining now because they're going to say, oh, it's rigged, Last of Us won another award. It's like, go watch the show. The show is great. If you're still mad about Last of Us Part 2 at this point, I don't know what to tell you. That game is, like, four years old now. It's like, let it go. <laughs> no, no, Last of Us can't oh, win. It's called The Last of Us. <laughs> What's the freaking last of it? Every one of these days, I'll probably get No Man's Sky. Yeah, it's always on nah, super like, discounted sales. It's come a long way since its launch. Yeah. Damn, No Man's Sky is still going on? Yeah, they're still updating it. Damn, it's it is still getting new new stuff. Frontiers, uh oh, <laughs> move over a sec. Watch out, Sonic. Oh, uh, so well, that's why they shadow dropped that patch. <laughs> we must, we must, we cannot compete against No Man's Sky. Uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for ten years now, and I still really love it. Still really enjoy it, but. What people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Oh, uh, another game. Yeah. Something no Man's Sky 2. Very different. <laughs> maybe... Light no fire. No Man's Sky. Light no. It's like caveman talk with their game titles. No Man's Sky. <laughs> yeah. Light no fire. Remember, mm. that comes mm. from an team it looks like the same crystal for No Man's Sky. <laughs> it really does. Or the next one. Oh, Live, left, no. low. You got Andrew from the Barbie set. <laughs> Ken got him. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> he wasn't Ken enough. Can I kick you oh, from the call? <laughs> no, no. You can never be Ken enough. Am I not too Ken enough for the Ken club? Uh, I, wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is uh, this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going in my shell. As you get older, you know, particularly <laughs> the Let's get the break, shell out. Right? Okay, what's your call on the last announcement? Um, I'm going to say something realistic. Um, uh, a, a, a reveal of a game we probably... That's making a comeback, like a sequel to something. Probably. Yeah, they usually like to do games like like those kind of ones rather than like a new IP to start it. I have one prediction, but I'm going to sound like a fool if it doesn't happen, so I'm not going to say it. Actually, oh, fuck it, it's a prediction. <laughs> My guess was they're going to reveal, like, it's going to be a tro trailer for that Warner Brothers Multiverses game. I think the studio that hasn't shown up yet in terms of announcements, Capcom, they've been quiet this whole show. Yeah. It it's going to be Marvel vs. Capcom 4 or something. <laughs> oh, Dude, if, if they do that, man, I, I, honestly, before this, I was like, man, probably... I'm hoping for like something Marvel's Capcom. If they do that, oh man. Hey, good good for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I talked over Asia. what was, what was the winner? <laughs> uh Tears of the Kingdom. Alright. The legend Easy Aonuma. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how many more Zelda hey. games he's got in it before they lead it to a new uh creative lead. Congratulations, Mr. Anuma, and I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for Best RPG. Oh, oh here we go. Final Fantasy 16. Rise of Starfield. Sea of Stars. <laughs> it's going to be Baldur's Gate 3. It's going to be Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah, it is for you. Yeah. 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 I knew it was going to be Baldur's Gate. Ugh. Here are the nominees for Best Sim Strategy Game. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot. It's pro it, okay. If it's not... Advanced Heroes Wars or three, Pikmin 4, or do you want Pikmin 4? Pikmin 4. And the game award goes to Pikmin 4. Wow! Pikmin 4! Sick! Hey! Very right, cool. Nice. Hey, nice. Got, you got an award. EA Sports FC 24. Best sports F1 game. Madden 20. <laughs> 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 and the crew motor fast. 
They need to have a new category, most broken game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the Turkeys or the Razzies. <laughs> yeah. Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> or Super Mario Render. I do it! <laughs> The fan. If, three. It's gonna be Baldur's Gate. <laughs> fan voted. If it's Genshin, I swear, people are gonna be bad. Well, this is all fan voted now, so this is all people who voting many times over. Yeah. Baldur's Gate three. <laughs> oh, I remember the spear. <laughs> Baldur's Gate three. I could just imagine the freaking crackhead uh, like staying over there, freaking like losing his shit on L. He's on LCD. What's <laughs> that with the holy shit? Yes, this weed is kicking in right now. Also, why are they doing? Why are they putting valuable time on this game? Yeah, go back to Baldur's Gate Three. I'll take Baldur's Gate 3 over <laughs> with that, that mobile game ad I used to see all the time. I can't believe this, shit, this Clash of Clans is still going on. I was seeing Clash of Clans stuff in high school. It's, I can't Baldur's believe Gate it's still going. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that was a perfectly timed sound. There she is! Oh, I can't believe this Wait, was leaked hours ago. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, Daredevil's gonna be in Guilty Gear? I'm like, oh hell yeah, I got, now I got a reason to get Ghost in here. Uh. <laughs> Bring on the art, Twitter. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> yep, here it is. Wait, three on 3v3? Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's rock. <laughs> this I people went nuts for. Yeah. By the time I pick up that game, it'll probably be live. Oh my god, is this another? It is! Oh my god. How much? <laughs> oh, what? Oh my god, I legit thought this was an actual game. They fucking did it again. <laughs> How much we more, Jeff? Some awards to hand out. Oh. Will be here to help oh, you. my lord. More Jeff, this show about to be four hours long. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to talk about Baldur's Gate 3 more. Great a business unit. Okay. Okay, Square Enix. Wait, is this uh, 16 DLC? It is. Oh, oh shit. Oh. I'm genuinely curious what they're gonna do for Final Fantasy 17. Oh. Echoes of the Fallen. <laughs> it is too easy. I hope. I, I hope this. I hope this update changes. <laughs> you get your wish. It, it's, it's, it's like Elden Ring hard. <laughs> you can't beat it. <laughs> uh, well, 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 I, well, I didn't want them to like spike up the freaking like difficulty. I just wanted like. A little more challenge. <laughs> looks like you're getting it with these bosses right here. You're getting. You're pretty much getting final mix no, bosses no. for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I, I was kidding. They don't have to spike up oh, the difficulty. They listen to you. <laughs> I will play the game. Please don't spike up the difficulty. Oh, is it two different DLCs? Oh, it is. Oh, you could buy. Oh, buy it today. Alan Wake again. Oh, Baldur's Gate Three. <laughs> Baldur's Gate Three is gonna take it again. <laughs> if he put Crazy Spider Man Two hasn't got any funny to see. For it's real, nothing. <laughs> I'm <just> shocked, <laughs> genuinely. You know, at least at least Zelda got something and Mario got something. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, that'd be... The winner is oh. Alan Wake 2. Oh. Again? <laughs> Alright, now we gotta play it. I... it just makes yeah. me feel bad for not playing it. 
Well, everything people keep talking about this game and just what I saw earlier today with that performance is making me want to, want to play it even more now. <laughs> Hector, Nicole, for believing. Oh my God, freaking his his accent throws me off because he plays like that. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he talks, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, he was the face model for Max Payne in the first game. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Oh, I didn't know that, that gift was going to turn into that. You know, one other thing. Uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is going to be coming out. New story content. Uh, so, yeah, Damn, go play it. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I respect the tenacity that we won the award. All right, here's your reward. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, we're not getting we're not getting Miles to Spider Man two yep. again. Oh, God, Spider Man better get an award. Hopefully, that means we'll get New Game Plus if they win. Yeah, for real. It's like we don't get it because they didn't win anything. <laughs> we were gonna <laughs> reveal New Game Plus and drop it, but someone didn't want to <laughs> vote for us. <laughs> Guess people don't want it. The finals, what NBA finals? <laughs> we all love the Lakers. <laughs> so we made a game about what it's like to be the Lakers. <laughs> but you're not playing the Lakers. You're playing the Clippers. <laughs> Will they make oh, it to the finals? No. Probably not. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the show make sure to check out the game awards in Fortnite as well all month fans have been voting for their favorite user created island of the year and the winner is fort who congratulations you can port uh, the winning island from our tga map and while you're there who? collect who? all the tga trophies for oh who 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 we we who we 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 it's time for tonight's final world premiere. That's right, we're getting towards the end of the show. Oh, this thank one, you. I will let speak <laughs> for itself. <laughs> oh, is this what I think it is? No, never mind. Monster Hunter? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. You want to ask about Capcom? I, I, I knew it. <laughs> okay, this this must be that game they were talking about then. Because a few months ago, Capcom said for like next year, it's like, well, we have a pretty big game coming out early next year, like around March or that early year that's going to sell millions. People were wondering what it was. People said Monster Hunter. It's like, it makes sense. Sick. Oh, we all know Capcom loves some Monster Hunter. Pe people love Monster Hunter. Capcom presents. Great series, but boy, some some people, it's definitely not some people's taste. I can understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For those Hunter who do Wilds. like it, it, it's 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 cool. Mm-hmm. Should have been a boss. Oh, well, damn. 2025. <laughs> okay, then what game, what game is dropping next year then? In that early year. <laughs> <laughs> what game are they talking about then? You <laughs> showed me the gameplay, you gave me a demo of the game, and wow, I gotta tell you guys, it looks incredible. Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025, uh, when do we get to play this? Oh, uh, dummy, did you just watch the trailer? 2025. <laughs> Jeff, I think you need to learn English. <laughs> Put that in there for you. Uh, I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? I wish I don't have to keep repeating this, Jeff, but listen, we're working on the game. We have a year out till it's released. So please be patient with us. We're in troubled times right now in the industry. And I think you rushing us is really not helping the situation. <laughs> exciting fun games uh and the best is yet to come dead rising Thank remake you, Ani Musha, All right. mega well, man x haunting, Capcom collection. Yeah. haunting ground 2, two. dino crisis 2 controller 360. 
Who? Oh, Timothy Chalamet. It's the Dunesman. It's Mr. Wonka. All right, here we go. Game of the year. They better show Pedro the flute player. Mm -hmm. that, that dude was killing it last year. I, I know he's here because like Jeff made the point. Oh, he's in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at he's grooving already. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right. So honest question: Who do you think is gonna make game of the year? Baldur's Gate Baldur's three. Gate three probably. <laughs> <laughs> Usually in years where there's just one that's winning the majority, it usually goes to that. Alright, well, get Baldur's Gate 3 or Alan Wake 2. Hey. Now that might be my game of the year. <laughs> if it's actually Spider-Man 2, I'll be shocked. Th that would be really fun. Spider-Man 2 won nothing at all, but it wins game of the year. Sometimes they do that too, where it's like, you didn't win anything? Well, we're going to give you this one. Yeah. It is crazy <laughs> that it didn't get anything but even then this year was like too stacked with games like this is the one year where Are you usually there's like one pick in the game of the year where you're like how'd that make it there every choice i'm like no nah, that makes sense this year was too good yeah this was a great year for gaming it was like 2017 yeah everyone had mm -hmm. something at least like, there's a lot of diversity Oh, he's playing that jizz instrument on stage from Star Wars. He's jizzing up there. <laughs> uh... The game of the year goes to Pikmin 4. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Miyamoto runs down. <laughs> and the game of the year is Baldur's Gate Three. Yeah, yep. I, I saw that B move right before you said it. Yeah. Oh, who's against the armor yeah. guy? Go up now. <laughs> Me going to the oh anime conventions God. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some Baldur's Gate 3! Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh well. Spider Man 2 didn't win. Yeah. Unfortunate, but eh. Oh, I, I know, I I know James is happy no one got on stage this year. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna talk about freaking Jimmy Carter or something. <laughs> so you next year. Freaking Lyndon so B. Johnson year. or whatever. How long was God, three and a half hours. That that was as long as the new Martin <laughs> Scorsese movie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love how him being like, alright, we gotta cut these speeches down, it's too long. It didn't help. It was it might have been longer than last year's, to be real. Uh, I I had a good time. Despite not knowing about half of the games or most of them. But I liked it. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Yeah. Well, specifically watching it with you guys. The actual yeah. bit watching it solo would have been uh, know, if I watched it solo, I probably would have been way more <laughs> I would have been more done through it. Well, you know, the MVP goes to Christopher Judge, you know. Anyone who can insult mm -hmm. Activision and Call of Duty on a big stage. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we're never just know we're never gonna see him ever again at the Game Awards after that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm kicking you out of the friend chat with me and Hideo Kojima. Oh know. my god. <laughs> we'll we'll see what the let's see what the gaming Oscars has next year. Yeah. Yeah. 